Good morning, guys. My name is Orlando. I'm going to be making these videos. Hopefully, it helps out someone. Uh, by no means am I an expert. I kind of just wanted to also film um, my progress. So, this will be my first week of cold calling shippers. I've been working logistics for uh, four, four and a half years now. Um, I started off as a customer service, uh, I was a tracking tracing guy for another company, a dispatcher. So this is really uh, the first time I'm um, working as a freight agent and uh, I kind of got to this point from my previous jobs kind of seeing that this was the place to make a little bit more money. So by no means am I an expert. Uh, I actually made a few calls and it's not something that I'm really crazy about doing but there's no other way to get clients unless you do this right so um, I'm gonna get on the phone and uh, see how it goes definitely give me some pointer tips or if uh, whatever I say helps you hey uh, so here goes nothing I'm working off of a spreadsheet, so I have all my leads there. I installed the uh, click to call, so I'll just click on the phone number and it'll ring on my VoIP phone. So here goes our first call. Select the season is this Eric. Eric, good morning, sir. It's Orlando with uh, Propel Freight. Um, are are you in charge of shipping? Uh, I was calling to see if uh, you guys are in need of extra truck capacity. I work with a couple of 53 footers out of the Dallas area. I was hoping to get set up with your company to help move some of the outbound freight there. Um, don't have, uh, especially during this time, I uh, supply restaurants. So I don't have a lot of movement right now. Do you do, is it mainly what you do, LTL? Less than truck I do mainly. I do mainly do LTLs, but I do bring in truckloads. Okay. I don't have any outbound, outgoing truckload stuff. I hear you. Well, yeah, I know it's kind of slow. Can I email you my information just in case one day you need a quote? I'll be there to provide you with that real quickly. And, uh, and all you do is outbound from I, the DFW area? My, well, my company focuses in the, in the whole U.S., right? But I focus in Texas. So I have an established uh, carrier uh, network base that I work with out of the Texas area. So, yeah, I, I focus yeah. on Texas. Yeah. Um, at this time, no. Uh, like I said, the only thing that I do any uh, truckload stuff is inbound. Um, and I, like I said, I, I, mm -hmm. I would never grow to anything truckload outbound. I hear you. I hear you. Well, we're, just a small, we're a smaller company. So. No, no, no worries. Thank you for your time, anyhow, John. You have a great day. No problem. You have a great Thank day. Thank you, sir. Too. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Don't push it. Uh, what I do is I'll, I'll say, hey, good morning. It's Orlando with Propel Freight. Can you transfer me to your shipping, please? Um, I want to kind of emphasize on the freight, okay, so that they know I'm a transportation company. And, um, um, if I'm a transportation company, obviously I'm going to ask for shipping and I try to sound kind of just natural when I say that. And, uh, let me make some calls. Too much talking. Uh, good morning, it's Orlando with Propel Freight. Can I speak to someone in shipping? Uh, would that be Kathy? Oh, yeah, well, um, my name is Orlando with Propel Freight. As I mentioned, I, I work with a couple of 53-footers uh, out of the Dallas area. I was hoping to get set up with your company to help move some of the out outbound freight there. Can I have your phone number, Zuck? Yeah, of course. Hold on one second, Zuck. Uh-huh.
that's the gatekeeper. I already have her email uh, from the uh, website that I got the information from, but I still just, I don't just want to email them without calling. Can I have your name so that way Miss Kathy can call you back at 10 o'clock? I mean, your uh, yeah. uh, phone number. Uh, yeah, uh, of course. Actually, I have her email address. Uh, I can send her a quick email. Okay, that would be great. Uh, is it... Because uh, she'll be in at 10 o'clock. Okay, uh, Kathy at kazam.com? At kazam.com, yes. Gotcha. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Kareem. Kareem, thank you for your time, sir. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Rubber manufacturing. Good morning, Amber. May I help you? Uh, good morning. This is Orlando with Propel Freight. Can you transfer me to shipping, please? Would you send me your information to diana.jogsbox at gmail.com? I can definitely do that. Yeah, I was calling to see if I can get set up. So I'll send you my information. Hopefully I can provide you with competitive quotes from time to time, okay? That sounds real good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day, Diana. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, so um, she already knew. She's obviously getting these calls, right? So... Um, imagine she was tied up. I have her email, so I'll send her a quick email. What I was told is the main thing on our first call, our objective is to get the shipping manager's name and email. Um, very seldom will you book a load on, on that first call, right? So uh, first call, you want to get their name, the shipping manager, and their email. Okay. And from then on, it's just following up. Uh, Carla, good uh, morning. This is Orlando with uh, Propel Freight. Uh, I was wondering if, if you're in need of any extra truck capacity out of the Dallas, Texas area, hoping to get set up with your company to help move some of the outbound freight there? Um, we actually don't have any freight. You don't have any freight at the moment? Is it kind of slow due to the, the all the situation happening? Um, no, we usually pretty much don't freight stuff out, maybe like once every two weeks, two months. Okay, and you're all set with that? You wouldn't need a, uh, an extra quote to see if you can get something a little bit more competitive? Um, not at the moment, no. Okay, well, I'll try back in a couple of months, see how things are going. Thank you for your time, Carly. You have a great day. You too, thank, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. <clears throat> okay, I mean, I could have pushed a little bit more, but I don't want to be a... a too aggressive, right? And the way I see it is uh, I'm providing a, a, a very good service that I value a lot, right? So, hey, if it's not needed, then I'll move on to someone that does need it. And it's no biggie. We'll call her some other day. I'll still add notes.
Hey Mike, good morning sir, it's Orlando with uh, Propel Freight. Um, I'm calling to see if you guys are in need of any extra truck capacity out of the Dallas, Texas area. I was hoping to get set up with your guys' company to help move some of the outbound freight there. No, we don't do anything from Dallas. You know. Oh, well, well, I mean in the, in the, you only do from Austin? Yeah, we, where we, yeah, warehouse is in Austin, so everything comes to Austin, nothing goes out from Austin. Well, I mean, uh, I, I have trucks in, in that area as well. Can I get your email so I can send you my information? Hopefully, maybe my quotes are a bit more competitive. Do you, do you have a conditioned truck out of New York? A uh, reefer? Yeah, that's all I need. It's, a, it's an LTL, it's not a phone truck. Uh, yeah, I can, I, I can get you a quote. What are the details on that? I got four pilots coming right now. I need to pick up as soon as possible. Uh, standard after, size? Uh, sorry, what? A standard, standard size, size pallets? Okay. Yeah, 48, 48. Uh, 11, uh, zip code is 11779, Ron Concoma, New York. Okay, 11779? Yeah, coming to 78729. 78729. What's the weight on the four pallets? Four pallets, uh, about 8,800. 8, 8,800? Right. Okay, so, and what's the product? What, it's wine, it's cases of wine. Cases of wine, okay. Uh, do you know, uh, last question, do you know how tall the pallets are? Yeah, it's not too tall. It's uh, usually like four or five, five uh, stacks of wine, like boxes of wine on top of each other. I would say somewhere around uh, five foot, uh, maybe less than five foot. So like four, four, four foot eight. Four. Okay. Oh. Yeah, usually around four foot, five foot. And what, what temperature do you need it at? I need it uh, just room temperature is fine with me, like below 80. Oh, okay. Can, can it go on? Does it have to be a reefer? Can it load on a dry van? No, because it's 107 degrees. Okay, okay. So it has to be on a reefer. Okay, all right, I'll send you the quote to, what, what's your email? <clears throat> it cannot be frozen, you know, it has to be about 41 degrees. Right. You know, the average like 60 degrees, 75 is good, you know. 60 to 75. What do you say now? 60 to 75 degrees. Your email address in order for me to send you the, the quote? Yeah, Mike Farsi, M-I-K-E-F-A-R-S-I, mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Okay. I I had a, a on file a, a, another email, m.farsi at sbcglobal.net. Do you still use that? Yeah, I use that. Well, send the other one is better. Send it to which one? And Mike Farsi at gmail.com. Mike Farsi at gmail.com. All right, I'll do that. There's no doubt or nothing. Perfect. I'll send it to Mike Farsi at gmail.com. Yeah, send it quickly because I'm fixing it. Will do. Will, will do. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, so... And somehow you get lucky, but um, reefer that's gonna be tough, at least uh, with my knowledge. So let me just add notes here.